welcome back to the NFA Review Channel. All right, guys, seriously, welcome back. Today we have something neat for you to see. Uh, CGS Group is in town, and they brought their new Hydra. You did see the aluminum version of this can a couple months back on my YouTube channel. This is the stainless version. We're going to dig into that shortly. But before we move on, I want to give you a quick synopsis on uh, other things that they make. One of which are really badass looking precision bolt guns, as you can see here. And they also have some other things in the pipeline. Uh, they, also, they also make detonators for C4, which is totally awesome. So they don't just make cans, they make other weapons of awesome. And uh, yeah, we'll touch base on those at another time. Let's go ahead and dig right into this can. The stainless hydra ships with a takedown tool, a manual, and a decal. Like its aluminum counterpart, the hydra comes in at a length of 5.6 inches and a weight of 6.5 ounces. Now it does weigh a little bit more, but you're getting stainless baffles, which are way easier to clean, and we'll touch base on that in just a second. Uh, in the world of black guns, black coffee, black lives matter, and black suppressors, it gets a little drab. Uh, they stepped outside the box. Uh, you've seen this uh, recently. Uh, Rugged did their heat treated pistons, and uh, everybody loved them because they were raw. They weren't bead blasted, they were gold, they stood out. So they did the same thing here. This is grade nine titanium and it's heat treated. So much like a NFA snowflake, each tube is gonna be different. So pretty unique and uh, I applaud them for trying something different. One of the plus sides to the stainless baffles over the aluminum is this version is rated up to um, five seven by 28 semi-auto fire and full auto 22. And let's see, get a quick count here. We have 10 baffles. One common theme with this can, as you've probably noticed, is the use of high-end materials. The front cap's constructed of 7075 T6. The 10 baffles are 17.4 heat treat. The rear mount, again, 17.4 heat treat, and then a heat treated grade nine titanium tube. So definitely good there. Um, now the baffles are their patented Orion baffle, named after the Orion spacecraft and they form a secondary tube. So when doing so, when you're shooting, you don't have any leakage of carbon and um, lead deposits attaching themselves to the outside of the, or to the inside of the tube, making disassembly after a long shooting string super simple. All right, the biggest advantage of having stainless baffles over aluminum is you are trading a little bit of weight for time and ease of cleaning. So. These you can drop right in an ultrasonic cleaner and you don't have to scrub them by hand so you can walk away and do something else more important. Whoop, caught it. While your baffles are being cleaned for you. So that's why I like stainless cans over aluminum. But again, you got weight. If you want a lightweight can, stick with the aluminum one. CGS Group has the MSRP listed on this can at $4.99. As of the filming of this video, Silencer Shop has it on sale for $3.79. So without further ado, we are going to hit the range here. We're going to shoot it on some pistols. I was suppressed and suppressed to give you a little uh, taste of what it sounds like. And uh, we might actually show you a little sneak peek of their 9mm can they're working on. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Let's hit the range. <laughs> 